Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Fifi Crossings. Today I will be doing a tour of a wonderful island called North. I put a poll in my Instagram story asking whether I should upload the island tour first or a GameCube gameplay. The answer was overwhelmingly the island tour and for those of you who want the gameplay that will be uploaded tomorrow since I upload on Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. And yeah, the owner of this account is so so friendly. I'm going to link her Instagram down in the description since that's how I found this island. And you can see now that I am displaying the island um she has i don't know whether she commissioned someone to do it but it is a beautiful island map and all of her street names have lovely meanings and she's written about that in her instagram store um instagram post about it so if anyone wants to check that out that's probably a really good idea because honestly it was really nice to read about the thought that went into the island so without much further ado let's just get into the island tour and have a little look around. So I can see here that she's got some presents laid out so I'll just pick those up and guess I'll have a little look at what those could be. Slipper on loafers, I'll wear those. Cropped pants, a white lily and a checkered Chesterfield coat. I think this outfit is absolutely adorable. I really like it. This is so cute. Okay, so I suppose we're just gonna have a little walk around. And first thing I can see down here is her beach. And wow, she has a whole thing going on here. This is absolutely stunning. Um, so as far as I can see, it says that this is the restaurant venues, and I can feel that vibe. This is so pretty. I seriously love the way that she's done this. And she has the little check-in person here. I think that's so cute, and it looks so classy as well. It's giving me a whole five-star thing over here. Like, I want to eat here. This is so cute. Yeah, I'm not going to spend super long on each area because from what I've seen from her Instagram, each area is like fully fleshed out and beautiful. So I'm just going to try and walk around, give a little bit of commentary and I'll see how it goes. Okay, so up here we have Minerva Square as far as I can read on the map. And wow, this is, so it's like a painting kind of area like an artsy area. It reminds me of um, when I went to Poland with my boyfriend and we went into this sort of little square and there were loads of artists just hanging out and painting together and um, all the paintings were sort of like on display. It's giving me that vibe and I really like it. That's so pretty. Oh, I think I can see the island rep up here maybe. Let's have a little look. Hello. Yeah, it's Tess. That's uh, the name of the person who uh, runs the Instagram account and whose island this is. Hello there, Tess. Um, she is such a sweetie, so please check her Instagram out. Oh, this is so cute. Ah, it's the sunbathing canal. Whoa, I love this. It's so cozy. I, I love the whole canal concept in Animal Crossing. I am personally not talented enough to take the time to make a canal look beautiful, but this is something else. This is so cute. I am in love with it. I think Punchy's getting in the way right now. <laughs> so now we're kind of walking along, I think it's called Muta Street. I can't read it very well. Um, but this is so cute. Oh, between the two houses, they have a little like writing area with each other. That's so adorable. Oh. Okay, and now I'm walking along Fides Street, and she has such beautiful, like, areas between each villager house. That is really lovely. It captures, like, their personality so nicely. And I don't even know who the villagers are. I think I have to check who they are, because that is important. So she has Blair, Fang, Daisy, Punchy... Butch, oh I love Butch, 
uh, Keaton, Jay, Molly, Maple, and Goldie. Okay, so she's got like a really cute villager lineup. That's adorable. Okay, now we're up at uh, Janus Promenade, and this is her secret beach. This is so simple, but so beautiful. I never know how to deal with making a secret beach, like, quite honestly, because I'm just so stressed out by... Like, my secret beach is really hidden by cliffs, which I wanted, but then I don't have the motivation to decorate it properly. <laughs> um, but that was so cute. Um, yeah, I'm not spending a huge amount of time on each area. I'm really sorry if you guys want to, uh, me to spend more time. It's just that this island is so, like, big and beautiful that um, if I spent, like, a minute on each area, this video would be, like, half an hour long. Um, this is really cute. Okay, let me check the map for what this is. Okay, you have the- it's the music and plant shop. Okay, I can see that. This is incredible. I feel like I need, like, I've already messaged Tess, like, a few times to tell her that I'm filming this video. But um, this is something else. I need to text her again and just tell her how awe-inspiring her island is. This is incredible. Okay, so where am I at now? I feel like if I go down here, I'm on Mercury Street. Okay. So yeah, if you haven't noticed, her street names are all named after gods, and I think that that is the cutest concept. And she's used this imperial- is it imperial fencing? So nicely. Like, I used to think it looked kind of like jail fencing, but this looks just so calming and relaxing. Oh, we're in Flora's Cafe now. This is- I keep checking where I'm at because I want to say the names of the places because it's important because the names were really thought through. Oh, the campsite, just vibing up here. That's so cute. I would love to camp here IRL. Like, this is the this is somewhere I want to go. And the incline placement. Oh, hello. <laughs> just hiding down there. Wow, the museum. This is so cute. And she has... Ah, it says the museum and train station. Okay, so you wait here for your train. Okay. I'm just gonna wait here for my train and um, I might take a picture of this. This is really cute. And yeah. Oh, this is so adorable. It's so beautiful. So now I think we're gonna run down here. And yeah, this is, oh, this is an extension of the street we were on earlier, I think. Yeah, and then you can go back up to the resident services. And I know that from the map, I, I do want to go and see her house because people always do such nice things with their houses. Oh, wow, this is the post office. <gasps> wow, this is so stunning. Oh my goodness, I do have to take another picture of this. This is incredibly beautiful. I don't know how people manage to make the outdoor post offices look that good, but this has been done so well. And the like patterns here to make the rugs over one another, that's so nicely done. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys, I figured out how to get to her house. It took me a minute, but um, I love the exterior. I haven't seen this door used a lot. And I think that it's really pretty. I think that this is really cute. And I guess we should just have a little look inside. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. This is really cute. So I'm, I'm guessing this is like a kitchen, like a slash dining area. And I love it. The hanging terrariums and the whole, like the floral swag as well. This gives me such calming vibes. I really want to have some food here and just chill out okay this room is something else this is cute this is um a little bathroom and i've wow i didn't know that they had like proper shower cubicles in animal crossing i haven't ever seen that item before and the little ironing board and the bath and wow i just love how calming the colors are and the paintings Holy moly, this upstairs bedroom 
is okay i need this bedroom in my life i i I live in a one-room apartment right now, and um, this is the vibe I would very much like to have in my apartment. This is beautiful. I love the tones and the colors she's used. Impeccable. Absolutely impeccable taste test. I'm going to make my way down through her island to oh, got stuck there an area that I can see she's called the white cafe on the beach and I think that's where I'm probably going to finish my tour because then I feel like I probably have seen everything and again if you guys like this island please go check her out on Instagram she is the sweetest human being and um honestly she's just really friendly and her posts are so nice and um yeah i mean her instagram is what inspired me to come visit this island and i honestly love this island it's possibly the best island i've ever visited in a dream and this white cafe as a sort of finishing point is so beautiful and i'm really sorry tess if you feel like i've missed anything on your island please let me know and I just think this is such a cute island and she has a little rug on the pier. Hello Butch. I want to live in the north. Now you've given me cravings for it and your um, Able Sisters is so cute. I'm trying to work out what language it is. Hang on, let me get a little closer look. Um, oh, okay, you have Agua y Filo. Um, is that possibly Italian? I feel like it's Italian. Um, if it's Italian, then that definitely explains the vibe of your island. And if it's not Italian, then please forgive me for being super uneducated. Um, I have no excuse. <laughs> but yeah, this island tour has honestly been absolutely wonderful. I had a lovely time here. Please check out her Instagram. I'm going to put the link in the description. And um, big shout out to Tess for being fine with me making a video on this. I hope you enjoyed the tour and the commentary I did of your island, Tess. And honestly, 10 out of 10 island, definitely would recommend visiting. Um, the DA was on the map, but I will also put that um, in the description so that you guys can also visit this island and just see a bit of the magic because truly, this was great. So please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time guys. Have a great day.